my music is for everybody. Um, me as a person, you know, I have my own beliefs just like everybody else does, but the music is transcendent. You know, Prince uh, was a very religious man. Anybody, regardless of if you agree with his faith, could still appreciate the music of Prince and still would appreciate the music of Prince. And so hopefully that'll be the same uh, for me. I wrote the song River Jordan. I got to pre-screen the shack and just kind of experience it for myself. And I related to the, to the lead character and just that whole idea of, you know, the loss of people you love and just saying, like, I don't want to play by anybody's rules, these man-made rules. And that's really how the song came about. Regardless of where, what you believe or where, where, where you come from, I think the film is very relatable to everybody. And, uh, you know, he has this dream and in his dream, he has this incredible experience that transforms his life. And when he comes to, you know, it's like his life is literally changed because of this dream he had. So I recommend everybody see it, it was great. As far as activism and social involvement, I'm constantly involved in something. Peace Preparatory Academy in Atlanta is a school. It's in a community that there was no schools uh, prior to that for over 50 years. It's just an area where there's more liquor stores than schools. So this is the first school in this community. So that's always something I'm an advocate for, pushing people toward. Another great thing um, I'm involved in is preemptive love. and. Preemptive Love is uh, a good friend of mine, Jeremy, who's out in Iraq, and uh, he's helped out with Aleppo, and he's helped out in Syria, and just like, you know, uh, feeding kids and doing uh, surgeries, heart surgeries on infants, and just kind of being there for refugees and survivors of everything that's going on out there. And uh, so those are two things that I'm, I'm really passionate about. I just met Stevie Wonder, and Stevie Wonder kind of leaned over, and he was like, you know, you need to write a song uh, about how heartbroken the country is right now. And I was like, yes, sir, Mr. Wonder, tomorrow. <laughs> so, I mean, what do you do if Stevie Wonder tells you to do it? You do it, man.